Hey, I can finally update now. Um, yeah, this is my first update since, um, I think a little after New Year's, actually. Um, still no, like, physical, physical developments, so I'm not, I'm still too poor on, to be on therapy and hormones and all that good stuff. Um, but... Yeah, new haircut. I really like it. I'm still trying to get used to it, actually, because I had um, uh, long hair for, I think, the last seven or so years. So um, I'm, I'm still kind of getting used to it. Like, every time I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, I don't expect it. I'm still... I still expect to have my long hair, and I sit there and I stare at myself, and I'm like... I like it. <laughs> I really like my haircut. Um, I think it makes me look like a really cute 13 year old boy. <laughs> yes, I'm egotistical and I don't care. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I really fucking like my haircut. And so far, everyone I know likes it too. So it's, that's good. Um, let's see. Um, I have. Um, let's see, what was I going to talk about? Let me look at my notes here. Um, one of the things I was going to, I was going to talk about a few things in this, uh, probably going to be a few video update. Um, um, I think I'll start with the binding. Um, I'm not wearing my bindings right now, but, um, I've been binding a different way, which is like, well, it's helped a little bit, I think it looks a little more natural now, because if you watched my binding video that I did before, I would bind once, like, around the middle of the chest here, and then I think it was once on the top and then once on the bottom, so it was trying to get in everything, but, um, <clears throat> it's getting, uh, like, Stuff was popping out up here, so, um, one of my friends pointed out to me that it looked like I was wearing a push-up bra all the time, and that wasn't good, and she suggested a different method of binding, where I would wrap it up twice on the top, and then once around the middle, so that it would be, like, nice and flat here, and then it would be pushed down to a nice little curve at the bottom, which is a little more masculine looking, which I think helps a lot, but it's a lot more uncomfortable because, like, the high, the higher up, it, it needs to be really high up to make sure nothing, like, bulges out because, um, I got a lot in this area, unfortunately. I'm the biggest trans guy that I personally know of because I got, um, 38 Ds. And that's without actually being professionally measured, so I might actually be bigger. But, um, I can fit them into 38 Ds, so, um, but, um, yeah, the h higher up it has to be to make sure nothing bulges out, um, and it gets more uncomfortable because the ace bandage comes right under here, and it keeps cutting me, and then because it can't go any higher than right here, um, it keeps folding down. Which I know is a common problem with ace bandage, but unfortunately, until I make some money, I can't get a bet an actual binding shirt. So um, I gotta deal with it. But um, I I've been trying to work out some sort of way to like have it as high up as I can in the front, and then just pull the sides down so it's not cutting into here. And then it doesn't fold down. But, um, like, it's been working fairly well, but I'm still not really passing at all. Which kind of sucks really badly. Um, I can get it really fucking tight to where I show almost nothing if I want to, but, um, then I can't breathe. Like, seriously cannot breathe like you know how um in like the old victorian age um 
women wore those extremely tight corsets, and they were so fucking tight that it actually shifted their organs and their bones and everything. Um, I wore my ace bandage wrapped around four times instead of the usual three that I have it wrapped around, which is horribly, horribly tight. I don't recommend it. Um, by the time I finally took it off, my ribs had actually been squished. Like, I, like right now, you like you know how your ribs normally feel. It's like somebody, like, three times as big as you comes up behind you and just squishes them like that. And then holds it for, like, six hours and then finally lets go and your ribs expand back and they're like... <gasps> And it's like taking a deep breath, and then it just hurts so fucking bad afterwards. I am never ever binding that tight again. So that that's a pretty big problem um, that I have to bind that tight. Well, I, I I'm not going to bind that tight anymore because I don't want health problems. But um, it it sucks that. I'd have to bind some, that tightly to uh, somewhat pass. Um, but um, the new way I've been binding has helped a little bit. <clears throat> but um, I really don't pass still. I think I look pretty damn uh, decent. Um, I think I would pass as, like, a 13-year-old boy. Um, but I don't seem to be passing at all yet. Like, I still haven't gotten to really, really try it out yet. Because, like, the one time I've actually been out, since I've tried binding this way and since I've had my hair cut, was uh, I was going out to dinner with a friend of mine, um... And I had to use the bathroom, and I went to go to the men's room while we were waiting to sit down, because um, we um, they were kind of busy, and there's there like a 20 minute wait. But I had to go to the bathroom, and um, when I went to go there, my friend turns to me and is like, "Hey, that's the men's room. Are you crazy?" And I was like, "Yeah, I know it's the men's room, because like she's like." She knows I'm trans, she knew me way before I came out as trans, and she, like, refuses to call me by my guy name, cause she's, like, I, I don't know, she's just weird. And she doesn't seem to understand it. Um, she's one of those people who are like, but you're still a girl! <laughs> but, um, yeah, she still calls me by my girl name and everything, and it still kind of sucks, but, um... If I, I could have passed that day, um, that kind of destroyed it because she called me my, by, by my uh, girl name and was like, hey, that's the men's room. And I was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and I, I really don't want to get my ass beat for going into the men's room. I mean, I am a pretty damn strong guy. But... I really don't want to piss off anyone. So if I can slip into the men's room and slip out uh, without too much notice and just not make eye contact, then I should be fine. But um, if I got somebody sitting there calling me a girl's name and being like, hey, that's the men's room, um, I, I think some heads are going to turn and uh, the place we were at was in a fairly, um, uh, what do you want to call it, uh, upper class part of town, where, um, my kind isn't exactly welcome, so, yeah, that wasn't exactly what I was, uh, wanting, so, that, and, though I didn't get anybody calling me a he or a she, so I think that's the first time nobody's actually referred to me by anything gender specific. And my time's running out. I will make another vid here in a sec.